be sure to check out my Patreon for weekly exclusive interviews, extra content on VV and Omi, and building generational wealth, as well as money management tips from experienced whales. Yo, what is going on, y'all? I'm Cavell Anderson, and we're back with another VV and Ecomi video. And here we are here with a video from the VV analyst. Be sure to subscribe to his channel. I'm going to leave that link down below. You're going to enjoy this video after you do. Make sure you check him out. But we're going to take this video even a step further. Like, I don't give financial advice, no investment advice, but this you're going to understand why I take the approach that I take not being a whale. I'm not a whale. This is why I take the approach that I take. So yeah, I'm gonna help those of you who um aren't whales as well. And and yeah, like I said as well. I <laughs> see what I did there. And uh, you know, anyway. But um yeah, be sure to drop that thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on notifications. Um, in this one, he's going to be doing a one year price prediction, and it's gonna be based off the numbers, based off of the facts. Um, and I love videos like this. I love the information like this. Obviously, this is not my type of videos. <laughs> my type of videos, it, it is based off a lot of the facts and stuff that I've heard, but it's just really pulled out of my head on the fly. I don't take the time to present it like like anything crazy. I just tell it how I remember it and how I recall it and then throw me in my opinion. So that being said, um, we are going to be using some numbers here. We're going to be using some numbers here. We're going to be seeing his approach. And I'm also it's also going to go back to some some things that I said in the past, which is this is how Dr. Profit came up. A lot of people, a lot of the whales in the community has have done this at one point in time. So, yeah, that being said, um, be sure to drop that thumbs up, subscribe and all that. But, yeah, let's get it. Let's get into it. G'day guys and welcome back to another VV analysis video. In this video, I will be doing a one year price prediction for the Star Wars number one comic book. So I'll be comparing the growth rates of all five comic variants. Now keep in mind, these comics are very new to the VV platform. So their growth rates may not be very accurate in the long term. However, I'll get into that later on in the video. So the price for the comment at the moment is currently 45 gems. Okay, one second, I'm in the way, okay with an addition count of 19,771. The uncommon 70 gems with 14,544 additions. The rare 85 gems with 5,422 additions. The ultra rare 355 gems with 2,500. All right, so one thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna take that, um, we're gonna take that secret rare number. We're gonna take that secret rare number, secret rares right now, it costs $1,700. And then, uh, yeah common cost uh 45 and i think that it may be even lower right now so let me actually go and check let me double check on these numbers um real quick because they might be even lower they they definitely might be even lower so yeah if i go to the app right now um and then i look at the comic book the common let's see where they at i got a few of them things uh Oh, it's 48. It's gone up a little bit. Go ahead. I made a profit. I bought a few of these yesterday. <laughs> Listen, man, I just be doing stuff like that. Man. $2 per comic. Like, don't play with me. Don't play with me, broody. Don't play with me. So, yeah, um, actually, I wanted to go to, um, let me go to the secret rare, too. Let's see what the secret rare is up to. So, the secret rare is actually down to 1.4K. It's down to 1.4K right now. That's crazy. So, the common is going up. The secret rare is going down. I mean, it's always more liquidity in the um, comments, though. So, yeah, let's jump in. Five editions, and finally, the Secret Rare with a current price of 1,700 gems and an edition count of 1,977. And actually, to, to prove my point, uh, no, no, we'll, we'll just do it. We're going to do it based off the video. So starting off with the common, I've got here on the left hand side the current common price as I just went over before and the addition count. So it's post drop price just after release was 29.99 gems and an all time high price of 77 gems. So this gives the common variant a growth average percentage per day of 5.01%. 5, 5 now for the uncommon, 65 gems, 14,500 additions. Its post drop price was 50 gems and an all time high price of 99 gems. Now this gives us a growth percentage per day for the uncommon of 3% a day. For the rare, 85 gems with a post drop price of 69 gems and an all time high price of 202 gems. So this gives you an average growth of 2.23% per day for the rare. The ultra rare, 355 gems currently with an addition count of 2,500. So its post drop price just after release was 218 gems and an all time high price just a few days ago of 680 gems. So this gives us an average growth percentage of 6.28%, the highest one we've seen so far. And finally, the secret rare with a current price 
of 1,700 gems and an addition count of 1,977. So the post drop price for the secret rare was 875 gems and an all time high price of 2,870 gems. So finally, the average growth percentage for the secret rare, 9.43% which is the Pretty highest good. out of any of these comic variants, which is nearly twice what the common is. So without further ado, let's get in to the one year price predictions. So let's start off with the common with a growth rate of 5.01% in one year in a linear growing market, its price will be 593 gems for the uncommon, a growth of 3% and 613 gems in one year from now, quite substantial considering it is only 70 gems at the moment. The rare 669 gems, and second last, we have the ultra rare with a growth percentage of 6.28% a day, which is the second highest out of all of these variants. A one year linear average price prediction will be 5,356 gems. And finally, the secret rare with the highest growth percentage currently per day, $31,813. So that being said, Right now, this is very like this is why I love this video. This is a great video, and we can use these numbers that he took the time to do, um, and we can actually take it a little step further. So, what is the the best investment right now if we're going based off of this? Now, you see, thirty one thousand dollars is what if you buy a common, if you I mean if you buy a secret rare for seventeen hundred dollars right now, you'll make thirty one thousand dollars. And now this is not guaranteed, of course. This is just running the numbers and what it says you have the potential to make. It could be lower, could be higher. Um, that being said, you, if you spend $1,700 on one, one comic right now, oh yeah, the, just the secret rare, you'll get $31,000. But if you spend that same, if you spend that same 1700 on commons, which are only $45 right now. So yeah, let, let's do, um, 1700. We're gonna divide it by 45. How many times can we get 45 into that? 37. So we can get it into that like 37 times. 38. Let's call it 38. Um, 38. So that means if we have 38 commons and they they're worth 600 each, 38 commons, and that's gonna be 20, 22 thousand dollars, 22 thousand eight hundred dollars. Now, obviously, that's not 31,000, but it's not like it's an insane way off. It's not like it's it's a huge way off. Which means if you can't afford a secret rare and all you can afford is commons, if you buy a good amount of commons, because let's see, like we, we said 38, let's go, let's say you can't afford the 1700, but you can, you can buy it, you can get yourself 10 of them. If t with 10 of them, that, I mean, obviously that's, that's, that's going to be 6,000, that's going to be 6,000, 6,000, 12,000 if you get 20. Um, I mean, if you can get 20, that's still twelve thousand dollars you have the potential to make. And to be fair, this, I feel like this, 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 like this is Star Wars. I mean, it could be higher, could be lower. Like I said, it's an NFT. Some people value. Like, well, actually, I don't know if NFT, the NFT value, like just automatic NFT value. I don't know if that know if that's going to, you know, still be a thing. I don't know if that's going to be a thing um, in the future, or if it's going to basically. I don't know. I don't know what's going to decide the markets. But basically, my point is. You can, you don't have to do what a whale would do. A whale, obviously, a whale would just go and buy a secret rare. Or so, but it's less liquidity in secret rares. I mean, you you can bear like, and, and as you can see, the commons are going up in price right now already. The secret rares are going down in price because why? No one is willing to buy the secret rares. People are buying. I just bought a bunch of the commons. I, I, full disclosure, I just bought a bunch of the commons. The uh, like yesterday, I just bought a bunch of the commons. So you have the commons that will sell. The secret rares are not selling though. So that's what I mean, like the liquidity. Like you can get your money out of a common faster. And if you potentially, if, if you're, you know, if you're, if you have a lot of them, you could potentially make the same amount as putting that same amount into a secret rare. Now, obviously it's going to be like a, what, a, almost a $10,000 difference if you like based on this. But like I said, you you never really know. I feel like the commons are going to start performing better. I feel like there's just more liquidity. I would rather be in a common because Let's say my, my secret rare is worth $31,000. You still have to find someone willing to pay $31,000. What do you think is more likely? Like, what do you think? Do you think that it's easier to find one person willing to drop $30,000 on your comic? Or do you think that it's more possible to find a bunch of people willing to drop $600? I feel like $600 is more affordable for a lot of people than $31,000. So I'll take my chances trying to continue to sell at, at $600. Like, 
but that's just that's just my perspective that's how i look at it so yeah that being said that this this video was full of a lot of information i loved all the information in this video and yeah this is this is why you have to don't try to like I, I hate how everyone's goal is just the secret rare now if you get the secret rare on drop you just came up that was amazing like that's a great job if you get it on drop but to, to try to be selling everything and trying to work your way to a secret rare and stuff like that you're probably better off just grabbing a bunch of commons most times most times you're probably better off grabbing a bunch of commons especially if you're not a whale like eventually you're going to get to the level like those commons i feel me personally this is how i feel i feel like those commons um will get you to the position where you can do well like things where you can't just you got enough extra left over so you can buy a secret rare if you want just to have it you know but even still i feel like that that liquidity is better spent in a lower tier like you know but that's just me that's just my that's just my perspective i, I don't know you you all let me know how you all feel about it but yeah th this is what i wanted to um show y'all break down a little bit um let's finish up the last of it he got a little bit more to say i think so let me know if you guys agree with my my price predictions in the comments feel free to do your own research all this data came directly from Akomi wiki so feel free to do your own research you'll probably get the exact same numbers um let me know what other comics you guys would like to see in the comments below um and let me know if you'd like to so yeah that, that was pretty much it um yeah so that being said you don't have to you don't have to try to get secret rares and stuff to make a profit on VV, man. You really don't. And I, I, while I didn't do, like, I go for comics. That's why that's what I checked. It could be, like, honestly, I could do the exact same thing for maybe some of, other, some of these other comics, and it may make more sense to grab another rarity over even a common. Just grab a few of another rarity over a common. But I just feel like the commons are going to be the easiest to move and remain the easiest to move. Because you got to look at it from this perspective. Like, and honestly why when it comes down to the uncommon and rares why the heck would i grab one of those over a common like like based on these numbers right here why the heck would i grab one of those under over a common because they cost more to get right now they cost more so that means i'll be able to get less of them and then the returns is almost the same as a common so i can get more commons if i buy commons right now and then those commons the, the amount of commons that i can get it's more than likely going to it's going to easily kill the the uncommon and rare now the ultra rare i don't know if you grab if you can grab some ultra rares maybe but then again that comes down to liquidity like five thousand dollars is more affordable but you have to find somebody willing to pay five thousand dollars i feel like it'll just be easier to find somebody to pay 600 and move a common than it's going to be like the five thirty thousand now obviously don't abort run those those things will go they will sell don't get it don't get it twisted don't get me wrong i still think that those would sell but at the same time I mean, in my opinion, comments are just safer. But yeah, let me know y'all thoughts in the comment section down below. Let me know how you feel about it. Um, everybody has different perspectives. I, I would love to hear some different perspectives on this. This is, yeah, this is just how I, how I do it. But yeah, be sure to drop that thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on notifications. And I will catch you all on the next one. Peace out, y'all.